How's it gaming, guys? I'm Fellow Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Turnabout Samurai. We learned a ridiculous amount of, of things in the last investigation, despite how short it was compared to the other days. But I'm pretty sure we found who the killer is. Now it's time to prove it in court and uh, prove that Will Powers is innocent. Because if we don't, we don't get paid. And that's, uh, that's the main thing. So, Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. That must be why he's named Edgeworth. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Ms. D. Vasquez to the stand. Ms. D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Damn, going right for the jugular. You can't smoke in court, stop that. Or can you? I don't think you can. I doubt it. I guess it depends where you are. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. Wow, she just straight up says it. I think that's the first time we ever got just a straight answer from a, from a witness for, for uh, Edgeworth. On the day of the murder, you were in the tra a trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Question mark. <laughs> I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <sighs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12, uh, tw uh, 12 noon sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we went all, when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. Yep, yeah, right there. Well, yeah, it's a van. It's like a little bus. A little tiny bus. I had him take me in that. Whoa. <laughs> Phrasing. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over. Yeah, but... You wouldn't be able to get through if the... Well, whatever. I I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Um, what we got? Um... I thought Sal said he ate alone. We were bringing me in. Sal and I eat, yeah, on the table in front of the trailer. The employee area. Oh, that's, not, that's them. That's not. Um. Will Nick find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little bit more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Yeah, because the only thing I have that has to do anything with that would be the T-Bone Stakes is the other T-Bone Stakes. In front of the trailer. Wait, there weren't bones, though, on the... We don't have a picture of that, do we? No. Um, let's do it anyways. Oh, well, that worked. Cool. <laughs> ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-Bone Steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's... a plate? Why are you carrying that around with you? This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Oh, I'm presenting the bone because their plates didn't have bone. Okay, I was like, how does this work? Why did this present, like, presentation make sense? Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a tea bone steak. Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. See, yeah, because like I could see if we had a picture of those plates, that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Oh, 
That's, that's the first crack into the wall. Ms. Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I don't know, they threw it away? Uh, I think I know how. You ate the bone too! <laughs> you ate a boneless steak, you didn't eat the steak. I mean, you ate the bone too is stupid. You ate a boneless steak could make sense, but then it wouldn't be a T-bone steak, but you didn't eat the steak. You didn't, you didn't eat any steak during that break. I love how this is important. <laughs> you took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Oh. I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Uh, meet the Steel Samurai, picking on Sal- No, meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying- Yes, Your Honor. As Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Wow, that was like almost an admission of guilt there, instead of just saying, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? Yes, actually. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Yeah, she's the type of person to fight anything, though. <laughs> Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you could. You couldn't, could you? Or I don't know. Um, I don't know is clearly a stupid answer. I think you could? No. I mean, unless it was like you got one of your goons to do it, but I'm gonna say you couldn't, could you? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning... The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Jeez, Phoenix. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. I, oh, um... This was broken? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be able to puncture through that friggin' suit with a duct tape, like, fixed weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who was wearing a thick costume with this? Through the chest! Oh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Oof. Poor Edgeworth. He's... <laughs> considering he's supposed to be this legendary prosecutor, he's doing such a poor job in these last two cases. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? Oh, sorry, that, that was her. Sorry. If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright... Can you tell us what weapon uh, what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. I think there's like maybe one time in the entire game or the series where it's like like you you have to admit you don't know. <laughs> Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. And I I don't have like the gate, do I? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the picture has the gate in it. Not the gate, the, the little fence. Look at this photo. Well, what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on the top at the top of those stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. You can't suspend it. You gotta finish this day. You know that. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. No one knows who the man who the man was that got killed. Even his family thinks he's still out for some scratchers. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, 
You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? Oh. Has happened again. Shit, how'd you do that magic thing with that picture? How'd you change it? That's really cool. <laughs> the judge, poor judge. <laughs> Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Ms. D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on, on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Ooh. Yeah, but like, he wasn't found in the samurai costume. And he's a big guy. How would, how would, he, how would she get him into the other costume? In other words, th the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? No, actually, that's not how irony works, but whatever. <laughs> oh, steamed hams. <laughs> Very creative to be here for Mr. Rev, sorry. Such a shitty joke. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer like you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer at all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? That shit, you're right. Guilty! The break at the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Ah, uh, oof. I bet she could move it. She had another way. She couldn't deal with it. Well, it had to be another way, because I don't think she could herself, so. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? Foot instance. Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I, interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Oh, the van, I would assume, right? Yeah, there we go. Ms. Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. Oh, mumble, mumble, mumble. Order! No, never. He's not going to say it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body into Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the ma magistrate's costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Sal Manella has to be a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it, uh, burned it in that small incinerator. Really, it's such a small incinerator. How would you be able to get the costume in there? Because it seems like it's such a big, bulky costume, you know? Well, Ms. Va Ms. Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. Wow, that was that was easy. All right, well, I'm Velvet Banks. See you guys next level. <laughs> uh, I win? No one knows what to say there. <laughs> How about just... All right, guilty then. Um, so, what happens next? Don't question mark me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like to me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Who can say? <laughs> Jeez, you bitch. Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. 
And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that, the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 <laughs> it's true. She's right. You proved the possibility, but that's not proof that you did it. Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, oof. of course it's as the witness says. Compose yourself, Edgeworth. Certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. <laughs> really earning your paycheck there, Edgeworth. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh. What do I do now? What do I do indeed, Phoenix? Uh, next episode, we will get to the bottom of this murder. I'm Film of Blanks. See you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.